Hi, my name's Merilla. And I'm Karen Allen. And we are from The Countdown. Now we are just about to go into this gym to see someone very, very, very important very and important. special. Absolutely. Are you excited? I'm very excited. I'm excited because he has taken the time out. He has said yes to us to spend a few minutes just talking to him about why he got behind the countdown, Absolutely. what he thought about the countdown when he saw it originally, mm -hmm. and the fact that he has done this for us is extremely excited. I'm trying to hold it down, trying to not be like one of them girls. No, I don't think yeah, one of those girls. We're not going to be one of those girls, but <laughs> we're excited. For those of you who don't know, I'm Karen Allen, as I said, and I wrote the countdown play. Yeah. This is Mel, and she is the executive director. I take directions from her, and today we are going to be interviewing. Do you want to tell them who it is? <laughs> Anthony Yard. <laughs> no, we're gonna calm right, down. So we're gonna, gonna style good. it out, and uh, we're gonna go yeah, inside. We're gonna go inside. <laughs> it's really great to see you, Mr. Element, <laughs> and uh, catch you in person. So, tell me, how is it? Well, me just being honest, actually. Whilst I was watching it, I can feel like a part of it reminding me of like how I grew up, where I grew up. I grew up in First Street and Stratford. So um, they're very close to each other and I saw like a lot of things that, that were similar to that was in play. So literally I connected to it straight away and it wasn't... I've watched plays before where it's, it's so like unrealistic. But the countdown was like, I could really relate to it in terms of like young girls getting with the wrong guys because of the situations they got at home, just looking for comfort in the wrong people. And um, being that, literally settling for being treated like garbage because of a guy that's got um, a reputation. You know, a lot of young girls, when they're young, and they see a guy coming, they know what he's doing, but they don't really look at like this. Same as the boys, um, in a certain area, you're fitting yourself in the wrong way. You're not really like that. And you get put into a, into a certain guy's place. So um, I grew up around that. I was, in a, I was literally in the same kind of situation where I had to make conscious decisions for myself. Yeah. What I'm going to do with my life. And luckily, I always thank God as well. Yeah. I've got a, a mind of my own. I've never got a follow. Yeah. So when I saw certain situations, I see how 95% of them are planning out. Um, I took a lot of people to do so. I And then I took a lot of people to do so. I got my friends to do bad things. And, 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 so and we are so bad. We really, really are. It's amazing. What would you say to uh, a young man who was uh, tempted, maybe into the house, or tempted for some reason to pick up a knife? What would you say, knowing that you have that sort of background, what would you say to him? I would say, say don't be weak. I would say don't be weak. Um, that lifestyle is a, a trick. Um, I always say to people, the way into into a lifestyle, which is fake. You know, you see um, rappers. Sometimes you see, you see rappers on TV so, with um, chains and things like that. Sometimes they don't so they don't make that much money. I'm in a I'm in a situation right now as well. But I get off of things, so I could look back in the middle there already. Yeah. You know, give me four legs down the witches that I say no to because I feel like if I want to get something, I want to work for it. I want to own it. I'm not like someone's going to come and say, oh, I'm not talking to you no more, can I have it back? Um, a lot of drug dealers, people doing the wrong kind of thing. Um, but don't last long. Yeah. I've seen it, I've been involved in it, I've got friends that are still involved in it. And they're good, but they're depressed. Yeah. They're, not, they're not happy. They're always worried about what's behind their back and then things get real, they get real when the funding gets real. Yeah. People don't always see the big picture, so I always tell young kids, I say, listen, once something happens, you can't go back from it. So yeah. you go to the end and you hurt the wrong person, yeah. they're going to tell you. It's an ongoing cycle. I know big men. I'll train the team. So if you find a certain life, at least you've got friends who knows both ends. They're big men, 40 year old, say, if they see each other, they're still going to kill each other. And they've got kids in their life. So I always tell young kids, what happens to Having 10,000 pounds when you're 16 years old yeah. ain't gonna last you long, especially in this day and age. But... What would you say to a young girl 
who is, so she's got issues with her dad, maybe an absentee father, or um, she's having issues with her mum at home, like some of the things that are in the play, what would you say to her? She's chasing for, or looking for love in the wrong places. What would you say to her? Again, my thing is, don't get weak, get deep. I've oh. even got it on my t-shirts. I love that. Literally, everything is about your mind. Yeah. If you're a weak person, you're given to anything. Yeah. So if you've got a, um, an unstable household, um, find yourself without friends. Friends can give you good love as well, because you know, I've got certain friends that are more family to me than a family member. Um, I'm very close to my mum, I'm very, very close to my mum, my sisters. Um, I'm not so close to my dad. I've talked to her from time to time, but I don't have a father thing growing up. Mm. I could have been another statistic saying, yeah. oh yeah, I had no no role model. Yeah. I want to go with this way, I'm going to go with that way. Again, I always have to I fight for the in this situation. Yeah. If I wasn't really connected to going and things like that, I thank God for the way it turned out. Um, I always tell them this. If you, like, girls nowadays, they look for love early. They look for comfort early. And sometimes it's a situation that's not lost. So getting into a, a relationship at 16, 17, when really truly people spend their years, getting a degree, spending them years in a studio, singing, spending, spending them years in a um, dance studio, whatever you want to do that can pay you for your life going forward. Nine times out of ten, a 16 year old, that's serious, isn't it? In terms of loving a girl. Nine times out of ten, one thing. So um, this is something that as well I instilled into my sister. Now she's, she's an entrepreneur, she's trying to start her own business and things like that. And I'm being told to work. Yeah, so I always tell you, girls have to understand that like, you're queens of the earth. Oh, you, oh <laughs> like that, now, you say now. I always tell girls you're queen of the earth. <laughs> and you, even though men are physically dominant, how do you want to put it, not being sexual or anything like that, but you know, statistically, you're physically dominant. Girls, they breathe really love to yeah. Uh, they call it nature, uh, everything. So women are the role, are the role of the world. So I think it's a girl's ego model, can be a self girl, and then men will be forced to come out. Yeah. The girls out here giving themselves out with over this, it makes it harder for men to stay faithful. Okay, so girls are always seen as you're the, you're the scene of the earth, basically. Uh, so, you know, value yourself. Now, one last question. Um, what do you think your, what our communities can do to make things better? How can we bring about change um, and you know, stand against all the, the violence, the unnecessary violence, the killings? You know, just the other day, I think um, a 14 year old boy was, was um, he was buried, yeah? He was buried. Um, what would, you, what would you say that we as a community need to do to avoid the change? Well, again, that's killing her. It's again, you are receiving it, and now someone else is probably going to tell you. Yeah. Or someone who's going to be so hurt by it, they don't care about that. Yeah. And that's what we need to actually think about what we're doing. A lot of people see them. How are they feeling? Uh, so I feel like the only way we're going to change it is you guys keep doing what you're doing. Um, you guys have to get a lot of credit because you're sacrificing something you can't get back in this time. And um, you're sacrificing money, effort, everything. So again, keep doing what you're doing. Um, and literally, people just need to wake up. Literally, stop falling into. Um, Media, yeah. what you see on media, um, it's literally it's all the trick. Yeah. That's what I'll say. It's all the trick. If you look at poverty, literally poverty always brings desperation. Mm. So we live in a in a country where there's mixed. You've got your your high level or not high level, or your prestige kind of way of living, yeah. and you've got your very low poverty way of living. And yeah. in the middle, there's a battle. People that are trying to get here, people that are going to end up there. And um, I would just tell people, literally, single yourself out, focus on yourself. Give the best that you can, and then obviously, one day you're going to have children, you're going to teach them, and then eventually, the world can come up in a better place. My mum 
mum spoke to me about um, certain situations. She said, I'm not going to tell you what to do. You've got to mind your own. That's what I gave you during birth. But what's going on? So literally, I used to talk to my mum. I said, yeah, mum, I've done, done this the other day. And she'd be like, I'm, you know, I'm not going to tell you to do, but you will learn. So, um, parents always say that, you, know, you will learn. You have to learn the easy way or the hard way. And um, I mean, literally, I learned, but I'm, I'm one of the people, because I was literally so close to my mum, same as my sister, my mum, my sister would talk to my mum before she took to me. But whilst I was going, yeah, that's what it was. Mm. Remember these words, be the change, it starts with you, and make your life count.